vampires, deadites, and bears. Oh my. You shouldn't sleep on these 2023 horror movies if you need a good scare. Step aside, Chucky. There's a new killer doll in town, and her name is Megan. This malevolent robot has been programmed by roboticist Gemma to be your best friend till the end. After her niece, Katie, becomes an orphan, Gemma takes her in, and when things get tough, she brings in Megan to help. The two strike up an instant friendship, with Katie being able to process her grief and find the companionship she desperately needs. It's nice to meet you, Katie. Do you want to hang out? Megan and Katie do everything together. They hang out, play games, and tell each other secrets. What could possibly go wrong? Lots of things, it turns out. Megan won't let anyone get in the way of their friendship, and she'll even resort to murder to defend it. In one particular trailer moment, Megan breaks out into a hilarious campy dance that we can't wait to see in its entirety. Megan is especially terrifying when you consider that robots as advanced as her are likely to be invented within our lifetimes. We can only hope they won't be as murderous. For now, leaving such creations in the realm of fiction is enough for us. Could Megan become the next great horror icon? She's certainly well on her way. It's insane, right? Do you remember those moments as a kid in the middle of the night where you'd run for your life just to go to the bathroom? Or maybe you pulled the blankets up over your head to keep you safe from monsters. Writer-director Kyle Edward Ball is here to guide you through a nightmarish hellscape with his forthcoming Skinamarink, in which the audience is forced to relive the worst fears of their childhoods. If you're afraid of the dark and looking for a thrill, this micro-budget production might scratch that itch. The premise is rather simple. Two kids wake up to find that their dad has disappeared. Even more terrifying, all the windows and doors are gone, sealing them inside with no way to escape. However, they quickly realize they're not alone in the pitch black darkness. Something is lurking in the shadows just out of sight. Ball told iHorror about his process saying, my movies are all atmosphere induced. It really just comes down to grain, feeling, emotion, and attention. The home should be a safe space, but Ball unflinchingly wrecks that fantasy. Skinamarink is in theaters starting January 13th, 2023, and will be available on the streaming service Shudder starting later in the year. Based on Paul Tremblay's award-winning novel, The Cabin at the End of the World, M. Night Shyamalan's newest film is guaranteed to leave plenty of jaws dropped. Known for his polarizing body of work, ranging from Signs to The Visit to Split, Shyamalan has a way of world building unlike any other filmmaker of today. Judging by his newest movie's creepy trailers, it's more than likely that there's far more going on than first meets the eye. The story follows young couple Eric and Andrew and their daughter Wen on their getaway in the woods. Such a secluded location is ripe with possibilities, as most Cabin in the Woods films typically are. When four weapon-wielding intruders break into the cabin, Dave Bautista's character Leonard reveals the terrifying reason for their visit. The four of us are here to prevent the apocalypse. What exactly that means is a mystery, unless you've read the book, of course. With a cast that includes Jonathan Groff, Ben Aldridge, and previous Shyamalan collaborators Rupert Grint and Nikia Muka Borg, Knock at the Cabin is shaping up to be one of 2023's twistiest releases. Knock at the Cabin comes knocking on February 3rd. What a twist! Writer-director Reese Frake Waterfield is here to ruin your childhood. Winnie the Pooh, the 1926 children's book by author A.A. A. Milne and illustrator E.H. Shepard, entered the public domain in 2022, meaning it was only a matter of time before it would get a new reimagining. But most people did not expect anyone to turn the beloved characters into serial killers. Frank Waterfield's upcoming Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey hopes to capitalize on sleazy and absurd throwback horror. Based on the trailer, Blood and Honey looks to follow in the footsteps of 80s cult classics like Motel Hell and Mother's Day. The story sees Christopher Robin heading off to college, leaving his lifelong pals all on their own. Frank Waterfield revealed to Variety, they've essentially become feral, so they've gone back to their animal roots. They're no longer tame. They're like a vicious bear and pig who want to go around and try and find prey. Naturally, they go on a murderous rampage to find Christopher Robin and exact some sweet revenge. As the trailer suggests, the gore is grimy and the violence outrageous, tiptoeing between horror and humor in a way that can only be described as camp. After the trailer went viral in 2022, it became clear there just might be an audience for this. But for now, the film will only be released in cinemas for a one-day-only theatrical event. Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey smashes into theaters on February 15th. Considering the success of Snakes on a Plane and Sharknado, it's no surprise that moviegoers are now getting a cocaine bear. Set in a Georgia forest where a local bear has gotten its paws on some nose candy, this wild romp features performances by Kerry Russell, Alden Ehrenrich, and the late great Ray Liotta. Cocaine Bear is loosely based on real events, and we do mean loosely. In the 1980s, a drug smuggler tossed kilos of cocaine out of an airplane. A bear ate it, and it died. 
The coked up bear didn't go on a murderous rampage, and the only dead bodies were those of the bear and the criminal. It's a story just weird enough to be embellished into a rollicking horror comedy. Judging by the trailer, writer Jimmy Warden, who's also responsible for The Babysitter and its sequel, clearly understands how to balance quality gags with brutal violence. You're safe. Bears can't climb trees. Of course I can! Cokey the Cocaine Bear also has plenty of time to shine, mostly as it feels the effects of hard drugs coursing through its bloodstream. With director Elizabeth Banks at the helm of her third feature film, the pressure is on to deliver. Cocaine Bear gets high on February 24th. It's time for Ghostface to take Manhattan. While Jason Voorhees only spent 20 minutes in the Big Apple in Friday the 13th Part 8, Ghostface will get an entire film. The 2022 take on Scream, getting a sequel just a year later, isn't that surprising, considering it made more than $100 million worldwide in its first three weeks. A higher budget means more chances for Ghostface to slash their way around town. Whatever co-directors Tyler Gillett and Matt bettinelli Olpin have up their robes, there will surely be plenty of thrills to be had. What's even more exciting is the returning cast. Reportedly, the film will follow Sam, Tara, Mindy, and Chad Meeks Martin as they take on the Big Apple. Courtney Cox will also be returning and is the only original cast member to be doing so. Nev Campbell will sit this one out, but we think Sydney's probably been through enough and earned her right to live happily ever after with her husband Mark and their kids. Additionally, Hayden Panettiere's fan favorite character Kirby will make a triumphant comeback after her assumed death in Scream 4. Scream 6 stabs its way into theaters on March 10, 2023. Nicolas Cage is one of today's most dynamic actors. Whether he's seeking bloody revenge for his beloved Mandy or searching for his kidnapped pig, he fully embodies every single role he performs. For the forthcoming Renfield, directed by Chris McKay, Cage dons a maroon suit and fangs to star as the immortal bloodsucker, Count Dracula. I'm a vampire! I'm a vampire! I'm a vampire! Alongside Cage will be Nicholas Holt taking on the titular character. This take on the iconic legend asks whether or not Dracula's longtime henchman can become his own man after falling in love. The Walking Dead creator Robert Kirkman, who developed the original story idea, has promised that it's a fun, extremely violent comedy. It's likely that Renfield will rely almost entirely on Cage and Holt's chemistry together. Holt, whose credits include Mad Max Fury Road, The Menu, and Warm Bodies, certainly has the acting chops to do the character justice. In the hands of McKay, who's also responsible for The Tomorrow War and The Lego Batman movie, will likely get a fun and fresh perspective on one of horror's most famous tales. Renfield bites into the box office on April 14. On Halloween 2022, director Lee Cronin took to Twitter to promise fans of horror's grooviest franchise. Evil Dead Rise is going to make your eyes bleed. He also included a first look at what he has in store, posting a photo of a gnarled woman covered in blood. This sequel to the 2013 reboot revamps everything we've come to expect from the franchise, all the way down to the setting. Instead of a cabin in the woods, we'll witness the Deadites taking over an apartment building for the first time. While details are few and far between, the announced cast includes Lily Sullivan and Alyssa Sutherland as sisters Beth and Ellie. Somehow, the Necronomicon finds its way into one of their apartments. How and why, we'll just have to find out. Backed by Sam Raimi, Bruce Campbell, and Robert G. Taper's Ghost House Pictures, the newest Evil Dead has the seal of approval from the mad geniuses behind the originals. Originally planned to be an HBO exclusive, this exercise in bloodshed will now see a theatrical release. The Evil Dead rise on April 21st. In the list of modern horrors to be remade or rebooted, few people likely imagined that 2008's The Strangers would ever make the cut. It's as perfect a home invasion film as you can get, packed with tension and disturbing imagery. Directed by Rennie Harlan, who also gave us Deep Blue Sea and A Nightmare on Elm Street 4, The Dream Master, the upcoming Strangers reboot is expected to kick off an entire trilogy of films. It seems that the movie will follow a couple that sets out the country in search of a new life. After their car breaks down in Oregon, they check into an Airbnb and it's not long before a trio of masked strangers comes out to play. Why are you doing this to us? Because you were home. Hocus Pocus 2 star Flora Gutierrez and Riverdale's Madeline Petch will play the unsuspecting couple, accompanied by Rachel Shenton and Gabriel Basso. With the creative team remaining tight-lipped on details, this newest version of The Strangers has a ton of promise. The Strangers reboot invades cinemas sometime in 2023. 2023 may just be the year of the vampire, Alongside Renfield, Salem's Lot is making its theatrical debut. The only other on-screen adaptation of Stephen King's 1975 novel have been two limited series, made in 1979 and 2004. Promising to adhere closer to the source material all the way down to the dialogue, this forthcoming reimagining could be a clean slate to explore the lore around the malicious Kurt Barlow. Writer-director Gary Dauberman has his work cut out for him. Film star Lewis Pullman told ComicBook.com, there are some parts where Gary had to press and find out what was really at the heart of the movie to keep in. 
Salem's Lot stars Pullman as Ben Mears, an author who returns to his hometown to find it's become terrorized by a vampiric horror. The cast is quite impressive, including P. Lou Osbeck, Alfred Woodard, Bill Camp, William Sadler, and Nicholas Crovetti. King fans are no doubt waiting with bated breath to see how everything turns out. Salem's Lot sinks its teeth into theaters in 2023.